We're drafting Quinn Ewers. Quinn Ewers, you're coming to Miami, brother. Book it. Bills are the best. Bills all the way. It's not even the fourth quarter, and fans are leaving. Tua Tagovailoa was injured today with a possible concussion protocol. When he got injured, it was 31 to 10. We got a bunch of Dolphins fans leaving the stadium early. Hi, my name is Ariel Jimenez, reporting live from Miami, Florida. This is Fan Go Media, where we give voices straight directly to the fans. So let's start right away. Guys, I don't know if you guys, you know, saw what happened to Tua and the blowout, you know, win oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. for the Bills. The fourth quarter hasn't started yet, by the way. We're out here. The fourth quarter hasn't started yet. We're drafting Quinn Ewers. Quinn Ewers, you're coming to Miami, brother. Book it. To win when you have your quarterback playing for the other team, practically. Do you think uh, touchdown passes than Josh Allen? And it's not even the fourth quarter yet. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. More, more interceptions than Josh, Josh Allen as well. Yeah. Chris Greer, you had one f***ing job, one Chris job, Greer. Bro. Get an old lineman and you went and signed Odell pooped on his chest Beckham. Your fault. Wait, and you overpaid Jalen Ramsey, bro. If you had one message for, to Chris Greer and the, the front office to uh, get an old line, bro. O -line. Get an old line. It's o -line. been our same problem for 10 years since we had Ryan Tannehill. Get a f***ing old line, bro. It's been like this since Jay Fiedler. It's been like this since Jay Fiedler. Jay Fiedler was in 2000. That was the last time we won a playoff game. 2000. It is 25 years later. To be honest, if you know, I'm you know, I'm probably not at liberty to say, but we would need another quarterback. I mean, I like to, I like to a lot, you know, but another backup quarterback. Let me, let me say that. Um, we got good receivers, we got a good offense, we got a good defense. I'll probably just say another another quarterback, another good quarterback. You know, behind Tua though. I'm not saying trade Tua or anything like that, but that'll be my my opinion. Bills are the best. Be all the way. Yo, find the Man, go go get a good quarterback and, and let's go. Tighten the up. Let's go. I would say I hope you guys are ready for another 20 years of quarterback hell. That's what we're ready for. Throw bombs. We got to throw bombs. Every drive, throw one bomb, two bombs. Throw it deep. Uh, Get a better quarterback. You need another quarterback, man. You need another quarterback. You need another quarterback. I don't think Tua is the solution. I really don't. I think they gave a way too big a contract to Tua. And the concussion today, I think, is going to set them back, especially if he loses a lot of games and they have to set him out because he's already had, what, three, four concussions? So now he's had another one tonight. It looks like. We'll see. It appears he did. And now, I don't know, man. I mean, to me, I'm not even from here. Like, I'm a Green Bay fan, but I live in Miami now. But the Dolphins, I think their problem is Tua. He got another concussion tonight. We'll see how it plays out, how long he's out. But... If he did, that's at least number three or four. But I grew up, you know, I played football. Like I, I think, I think their biggest problem right now is the quarterback. He's, uh, he's injury prone. It's a big problem. Cheetah is the one that could take us. Wherever he can take us, that's where we're gonna go. So here we go. Do you think uh, the, the, you know, the investigation with Cheetah was a distraction tonight? No, it wasn't a distraction. They beat us fair and square. They got us. They get, they, you know, they're putting it on us. It has nothing to do with that. How do you guys feel about the game today? Man, I lost a lot of money, man. Man, look, man, we got to what, man? Tour, he got to get up out of there. Same different day. This guy thinks he's Lamar Jackson. He takes a dive and he doesn't know how to stick it. Nothing new. I, I don't have the words for you, man. I'm disappointed. I'm just disappointed all around, man. It, it was a despicable game. Every single play is Devon Nation. You have weapons like Tyree Kill. You have weapons like Jalen Waddle. You have. You, it's fourth and two, and you want to go for it. You have Alec and Ingold, and you and don't push him in. No, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Super Bowl World. Look, man. It's the Super Dolphins all day. It's the Bills. I don't give a f Whatever the f they do. It's a hard loss. You know, I hate to see it sometimes, but, you know, it's always next week, pretty much. What do you think about the two injury and the whole situation, you know, with us being down 31-10 and he dives forward, you know? Um, it kind of surprised me a bit because I didn't, you know, I didn't think it would be one hit and then 
done. That's it. He's, a, he's he's out for the rest of the game. But so that that kind of hurt a little bit. But at the same time, so I'm surprised. But at the same time, I'm not surprised because Tua is, is fra- he's, he's a good quarterback, but he's fragile. If that makes sense. So how long have you been uh, a Dolphin fan? I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're a Dolphin fan. Oh yeah, for I've been for a minute. I was I was raised and born and raised here in Miami, so I've been coming to the games for a while. Next week, the Dolphins face the Seattle Seahawks. It's an away game. Hopefully, we bounce back. Like and subscribe to Fango Media, where we give voices to the fans. Again, it's Fango underscore media on Instagram and Fango on YouTube. My name is Ariel Jimenez, reporting live for the Miami Dolphins, where we give voice to the fans.